Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome. So today we're going to be doing another turn of the Manianas play by email, the one I am playing with major problem 42 as the United States Navy. And of course they are, well, Air Corps, Army Corps, of course the Army there as well. Right, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the actual replay today and uh, really get an idea of what's going on then. So far so good. So far, so good. We have had uh, a decent amount of submarine success, actually. We did sink the Oi, which was a very nice target there. But of course, it has been difficult with the amount of uh, Japanese submarines in the area here of the Marshalls. Our carriers uh, should be passing, uh, potentially passing a new Otok during this day, actually. I do worry about my actual landing forces. Uh, they are well protected, but it's one of these things. All it takes is one Japanese submarine to get through. But it's one of these. The amount of damage uh, that they can inflict is... It's only finite. We are going to be planning our move. Well, our landing up again in the uh, near term, really. Okay, plenty of reactions so far. Right behind ten. Okay, that's good to see there. Damage to the engines. Looking pretty good so far. Yeah, control room's flooding. Looking pretty solid. Liking this so far. Yes, there we go. Critical damage there. Damage to engines. Ooh. The I-10 may go down. And the I-10 is actually a very nice class of submarine here. Yep, there we go. Another hit. She's going to be forced to surface at this rate. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my, yes. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone. That is the end of the I-10 there. Debris on the surface. That is usually a very good indicator that she is indeed destroyed. Debris flew to the surface in area of attack. Yep. Well, that's a nice way to start the turn there. She's gone down. That is the end of the I-10. And that is one threat removed there. That's what I love to see there. The Alwyn did very good. Okay, so we see more landing barges here as the Growler takes aim with the 50 cows. 5 inch gun. Was it a 5 inch gun or the 50 cal? I, I couldn't quite tell there just at that second. But uh, it is intriguing to see what he's doing with these uh, landing barges. But we have hit them, which is good. At the end of the day, I do not want to have him moving anything, so that's fine. And in some ways, it's actually costed... Well, it is indeed costing him uh, supplies, isn't it? Yep, there we go. We hit the uh, light cargo ship over here. Once again, Growler. Growl's... I mean, Growler's really killing it so far. We do take some return fire, though, it seems. Yeah, there we go. The 20mm guns get into action. There we go. Yeah, she's going to go down here. Yeah. Heavy fires, heavy damage. Yep, she goes down as well. Growler really doing very nicely so far. Hmm. Quite happy with that. Blind the barb is diving here. So this is just off the coast of the Valdoir. <clears throat> so they're detonating above the actual submarine here. So the submarine's absolutely safe, which is fine. But it's interesting to see when he obviously does have these patrol boats off the coast there. Something to take note of. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Growler once again. Oh my god. Just, yeah. She's all over this. She's doing a very good job. 40 millimeter ball force. <laughs> She's just killing it. Very happy.
Mm, we do take a hit there, but uh, we're another one there as well. Okay. Ooh. We'll have to go ahead and take a look at the amount of damage received, but uh, quite the jewel here. Quite the jewel. The content Maru isn't going down too easily, it seems. Yeah, three hits on fire. Low on gun ammo. We break off the engagement. But we do land 27 hits there. Right, Benon. Or Benion. Arg 5 over here. Let's hope we have the same success as before. Ooh, not too bad, fire on the bridge. Okay, so we have caused some damage, but most of Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big solid hit there. Come on, I'd love to see a second something destroyed here. That would be very nice. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so we do land eight hits over there, which is still good, very good. We did land a major hit as well, which is very nice to see. Now, of course, we do have our aircraft running their patrols here. Yeah, RO-68 reported hit. Reported hit. Something has gone down there. I do wonder if that would have been the uh, cargo ship that Gralla was exchanging fire with. Okay, there we go. So we'll be moving into the orders phase in just a moment. Speed this up slightly. Okay, yep. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I didn't realise it would close the game as well, but there we go. Quick fix. We did see a number of ships arrive in there at the end. There we go. Minor problems. Uh, minor problems. Major solutions. I tell you, I can never, I can never speak on the first recording of the day. <laughs> I always get tongue-tied. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the operations report then. One day remaining. 
the I-8 determined to have been sunk on or about May 23rd. Okay, good to know about. So you see, obviously, there's a large amount of reports here near, uh, in your talk and Ponope. Outlook 68 was hit twice, which is very nice. We do lose a pilot, however, unfortunately. Japanese carrier aircraft sighted of an Iwatok. See, those could be the D4Y1 Judies or the reconnaissance variant. Moving supplies to Johnson still. Okay, so we have uh, new ships arrive in here. LSV, so there's a landing ship vehicle, LSTs. The uh, Cushing 2 has arrived at Pearl Harbor. That's pretty good. APAs, AKs, AKs. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So what I'll do then is actually transfer them into the actual ship now. Well, into this task force, I should say. Now, they are docked up, so I'm going to have them undock. Okay, there we go. Right, there we go. I just want to take a look at what we have here. I always do wonder if they've actually loaded the full unit. Yep, there we go. The fuel has been loaded as well, which is super. But we're looking good here so far, so that's very nice. So you can see that we have 3,370 troops aboard and 28,166 pieces of equipment. Well, equipment, quote-unquote. And this is um, armor. We do obviously have aircraft aboard here. It's quite good. It's an all-in-one party, really. So we're going to place the actual... Oil is in here. I'm going to place a couple destroyer escorts as well. Bring it up to 50 ships and then we can have these guys. Yeah, that four there. Uh, they can escort alongside. So there we go. So we'll call this the Pagan Express. Uh, basically, its role is going to be to head to Pagan. And yeah, with the base forces there, obviously the aircraft there, it's going to be quite handy. So head out that way. Your home port will be set to Iniwa Talk, obviously, to give them... Um, uh, Access to that fuel nearby. Now that is the AM over here. It is a... It's difficult with these kind of guys. So I do want them out there, but it probably isn't uh, worthwhile taking her. She just doesn't quite have that range, does she? So we'll move her back. Okay, the APD. Uh, she can be fueled on the way over. LCIs, yeah. There we go. She's not loaded, but she obviously she can be loaded. It will be quite nice, actually, to have the LSV there. That'd be quite handy when we are landing uh, these tanks elsewhere. So they're going to make their way over there now. Okay, you're drawn around here. And the question is, do I keep these destroyers patrolling in this area, or could I not do more with them elsewhere? I think what we'll do here, then... Is have them meet up and follow the task force. Yeah, so follow task force 100. <clears throat> We've moved the vast majority of our assets out of Pearl Harbor now, so we'll get them moving. They can merge into the actual task force as well. 
There we go, mode. In fairness, what I'll do here then is actually place the other destroyed escorts inside the actual task force as well. They're not the fastest things, but that's fine. I mean, you look at that ASW rate in there. That is really, really good. Uh, the AA uh, it could be better. Okay. So you're falling Task Force 39, yeah, making our way over there. Slowly but surely making our way. But so far, we've been doing very well. And uh, not so much in the way of losses. Okay, moving west. I wonder if she's returning to track there. Yep, my large and in charge uh, group of submarines is nearing the Marianas. I'm looking forward to when we can place down another, well, near 20 submarines in the area. That's going to be rather dangerous for him. Really what I wanted to do here then is just completely impede traffic between the islands. That and uh, when the combined fleet of the Imperial Japanese, uh, Imperial Japanese? Imperial Japanese Navy does show up. It'll give us a lot of, uh, gives a lot of punch there. Okay. So we're going to patrol around in your talk here at the moment. Fairly close in patrol there. Moving west, okay. So you're heading down that way. Okay, so we do have our escort carrier via Gambia Bay and three destroyers over there. What I'm going to do then is I'll actually have them. Um... So they only have 1700 troops aboard. Not a huge amount of men. I'll have them merge though. So merge there. Safety in numbers after all. And of course once they do return to Nibble Talk, be able to move them elsewhere. But plenty of aviation support here. Now, it does make me wonder, am I not better off saving this over this way? I'll have a move over this way towards Marcus Island. Though, actually, what I'm going to do here, then, is, let's see. Tinian Landing Force is over there. Saipan's forces over there, and then there's the Guam force, okay. So we'll have them meet up with Task Force 37. So I'd like to take a direct route now. Okay, there we go. The reason for that is I want them to start making some ground though. We do obviously have a large amount of destroyers in this area. Obviously we do have the air cover as well. So I'm hoping uh, things will start to play out quite nicely. Okay. So 
So we're not spotted over here as far as we're concerned. It may be better just to make direct, uh, yeah, all ahead. I don't think I need to bother with that waypoint. It's not a major... Yeah, so there we go. We're going to go and surge forward. Same here as well. Now, what we will be doing then is we'll be moving into this area over here. So let's see, where is their destination? Make sure we have that set. Yep, so they're on course to head towards Began. So what I'm going to be doing here then is basically from the northern end of the Marianas, I'm going to be looking towards suppressing the island chain. Now, it is going to be interesting considering the size of these airfields. I think in, um, hmm... I think in all honesty, the best thing we could probably do will be to launch sweeps of the airfield. We should be able to manage that. Basically, if I can hit all, well, if I can cover all the airfields at once, pretty much. Basically, subdue them in that manner. We should be able to deal with the vast majority of their air power. Of course, he's still going to have these strikes that do come out, so of course, uh, combat air patrol is going to be exceedingly important. Uh, but of course, if we do take the gun, let's take a look at the size of the port there. Now, Pagan has a size 3 port, so if I could actually get a decent amount of engineering um, personnel over there to the island, I could potentially even... I mean, I could do both, but uh, I mean, let's see here. I could increase the size of the airfield. The airfield is very nice, though, at uh, size 5. That's quite nice. I don't know if I'd be able to extend that much further, uh, but the uh, port I could potentially increase. I think I could increase the airfield to 7 and the port to 4. Having a size 4 port at Began would actually be quite nice. It would be a protected port there from submarines. Uh, but of course, they'd be able to handle a larger volume of ships as well, which would be quite nice. So on the off chance that we do actually lose something, which we are likely to lose something, at least we'd have a port where, if it is indeed damaged, it could be shifted over to. But as far as it goes, and we've had a good amount of success over this way. We have been causing him issues. I'll we'll go ahead and take a look at the Growler. She has taken damage, so she is going to return to New Talk. Which has been doing very well over there. Very well. I think we sank, uh, yeah, because these are landing barges. It looks like we've been uh, just basically destroying those, but that's quite nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at this ship sunk then. Yep, there we go. So supposedly R0717, I10, R0067, R0361, and then uh, supposedly our latest victim being the I8. Go ahead and take a last turn, yep, so I10 there, so that would be our latest victim. Now it did confirm supposedly in the operational report that the I8 had been sunk, so that's quite nice. Yeah, she was only worth a single point there, she's nothing major. Interesting to see this supposedly being destroyed as well. We did get some hits, but I don't know if she was indeed destroyed. So we can see that he's lost a few chinks over here, actually, which is intriguing. Operational losses, okay. They could have been potentially sunk at sea, actually. Yeah, that'd be interesting to find out. But we have kept up a very large presence of submarines around this area now, which has been quite good. It's been quite effective. So let's take a look at what the weather's going to be looking like. So we're looking at rain over here. That's okay. Should be able to manage that just fine. So yes, we have our oilers making their way to New Talk. Uh, well, yeah, the oilers are making their way there. I mean, that is a large amount of aviation support there, which is very handy. The 
the issue is even with the Gambia Bay, they'd be um, they'd be targets. It's too small of a landed force to go out there on its own, so we're gonna have them meet over the other ones. Which will be fine. In fairness, let's see, we do have our Tinian landing force over there, also heading for Pagan. We are looking at quite a few forces over there. Now it is going to be the Guam force that does actually land. I am going to need those minesweepers, however. Yeah, that's a large force there. Of course, we do have battleships on station as well, the Pennsylvania and the California. Fourteen-inch guns. And 14-inch guns over here as well. Yeah, their job is going to be basically to uh, suppress the actual beach defences, really just help to protect our men. Uh, but the minesweepers are going to be very useful. I really do want to have minesweepers in the area. It's difficult to get them there, but once I actually do get them there, it does mean that I'm going to find it significantly easier to deal with the defences around these islands. There's going to be a couple hundred mines in the area. So we need to deal with that, and the thing is, if I don't deal with that, I'm very likely uh, to take losses from the mines. So I can't allow that. And of course we do have destroyer minesweepers, we have uh, destroyer escorts, we have destroyers, I believe they can partake in the minesweep, and I'm not entirely sure about those classes. Uh, I know the destroyer minesweepers can, of course, but I'm not entirely sure about destroyers or destroyer escorts. I'd, I'd say probably, probably. But we'll find out. So I'd like to say a big thank you here, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Of course, we are getting closer and closer now. It is just a matter of days. Yeah, just a matter of days now. So we'll be about this position here next turn, roughly. Which is only 15 hexes out from Pagan, 16 from Guam, 15, and 15 from Saipan. So... Two more turns will be within range. Well, maybe one. Yeah, I'd say about two more turns. Two more turns will be well within range of the Marianas. And that is when the battle shall indeed begin. But I'd like to obviously begin it by having these large forces begin the engagement. Very impressive amount of shipping. And what I'll be looking at doing then is actually having that force. I mean, the thing is, do I have it split up? Um, possibly. We'll have to see. I've got to deal with the amount of, uh, aircraft based at Marianas first of all, though. So we'll have to take them on. But indeed, thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hope to see you again in the future. Goodbye for now.